Hi viewers, welcome to learn math lab something basic. Today we are going to see about how to use transfer function block in MATLAB sim link. So for that just you go to type transfer FCN. So this one. So you can use this detail right and here we are going to implement this transfer function s plus 3 dot by s into s plus 2 so it can be implemented in two way so first i am going to use this transfer function and then you got to multiply s inside it you will get x square plus 2 right so once you click this transfer function you can see the numerator coefficient and denominator coefficient in numerator coefficient you have to provide the coefficient of the uh, s terms like the coefficient of s power 0 s s power 1 s power 2 okay and same way you have to provide the coefficient of denominator like coefficient of s power 0 s power 1 in the denominator okay and then this the num order right uh, that, that mean num uh, numerator coefficient order so it should be less than the denominator otherwise you will see the problem for example i'm going to use one one right so that means the coefficient for a s s s power zero s power one is one one and also denominator coefficient yes i'm going to take one one so just example so for that i'm going to apply so now you can there is no problem right so it will accept the detail right s plus one to the s plus one if suppose I am going to provide 1 1 1 1 that means numerator having order is 2 the denominator having order 1 only right here we have s power 0 s power 1 denominator and numerator we have s power 0 s power 1 and s power 2 during that time it will it will not take so it will showing that the given transfer function in improper transfer function so we cannot implement this kind of transfer function in this block okay so in this block you can implement that that mean uh, order of the numerator should be less than the denominator order okay so then we can implement these things so now we are going to implement this law uh, this transfer function here we have to implement s plus 3 divided by s square plus 2 so we have in numerator we have only order s right s power 1 and s power naught so here the coefficient of s power naught is 3 so i'm going to put 3 here the coefficient of s is 1 right so i'm going to put 1 here and then the coefficient of so here this denominator equation you can see that here x square plus 2s plus 0 so the coefficient of s power 0 is 0 the coefficient of s power n is 2 and coefficient of s square is 1 so i'm putting like this and then you can see that the actual transfer function here so now you can see that the transfer function of that term a given gfs okay so next you have to check the results by providing input to the transfer function and then you can share the input of the transfer function and then measure the output of transfer function so here i'm going to use uh, initially constant and then it's going to be given to the input for that transfer function and then i'm going to measure the output in the transfer function so here i'm going to use scope so and then i'm going to use two scope that means so one is for uh, input another one is for uh, output okay so now i provided the detail right that means s plus 3 and there s plus 3 dot of x square s square plus 2 s the input will be 1 and then here we are measuring the output so here i'm going to measure the that mean i'm going to simulate the model and then check the results so here you can see that so this is the input we are giving 1 and we are getting output is like linear so it will be increase linear right with respect to time okay so this output we are getting okay suppose i am going to increase the or decrease the amplitude 0.1 and 
and then you can see the results of this transfer function so here you can see that we are getting the output of this transfer function is like that okay so we, we can implement the same transfer function with the uh, different concept right so here you can see that so here you have s plus 3 and s into s plus 2 right so we can implement the same concept by so you can use 1 plus 3 and then you can take this s plus 2 alone so you can put 1 and 2 right so here you will see that s plus 1 s plus 3 divided by s plus 2 so this time we will be had that means s plus 3 divided by s plus 2 and then we have to multiply it with 1 by s so for that you have to use integrator so type integrator here and then you can use this 1 by s so now you can see that the whole transfer function which is equal to s plus 3 divided by s into s plus 2 so i am going to provide the same input to this same input and then i am going to measure the output of both whether both are having same output or not okay so here i am going to simulate this one so here you can see that both are same right so we can implement the same in the then any transfer function with a different kind of uh, block combination okay so this is in this way we can use the transfer function of uh, uh, transfer function block in this link okay thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you so much bye bye